the Native Americans, that they vary widely. Mm. But the Olmecs seem to have very similar features, the thick lips, the yes, wide noses. Why do we think that is? Well, this is uh, part of a, a curious mystery that is not unconnected to the genetic mystery. Uh, it's been known by archaeologists for quite a long time that there are anomalous skulls uh, in parts of Brazil, uh, which appear to show uh, very strongly Polynesian or African features, very much like the features that we see mm -hmm. on, the, on the Olmec heads. And a number of archaeologists who got into trouble with their colleagues for this have used that to argue many years ago, 30, 40 years ago, that, that the settlement story of the Americas is much more complicated uh, than, we've, you know, than, we, than we've realized. And, and what, the, what the DNA is doing is uh, it's telling us that there was something really weird uh, happen, happened with settlement. They, you see, what happened with those um, African or Polynesian-looking skulls was that they were tested for DNA uh, when DNA technology was not as advanced as it is today. And what that DNA showed was that they were more closely related to modern Native Americans than they are to any other people in the world. So the notion that there was some connection with Polynesia or Africa was dismissed. But now that we have very firm evidence of an Australasian genetic signal, Aust Australian Aborigines, Papua New Guinea, those kind of features, now that we have the genetic evidence that, that is found in the Amazon, we have to go back to that old evidence and, and recap.